Hey, welcome to Get In The Van, You Can. It's Chris, and we're doing an interview today with a friend I've been working with at Under Canvas. And please introduce yourself. My name's Elizabeth. Um, this is my 1975 Prowler 20 foot long trailer. Um, picked this up off of the Facebook Marketplace. Um, so went down to Rapid City and picked it up for not too expensive, $1,200. Wow. So not bad. Got a good deal on that. Yeah, Had to replace the tires. Um, but other than that, pretty much on the outside, everything was set to go. It came with propane, two propane tanks, um, stabilizing hitch, uh, all that good stuff. So that wasn't too bad at all to get it set up on the outside, at least. All right. And what about the inside? Did you have well, to do a lot of work there? Yeah. So the inside, when I got it, it was your standard 1975 van minus the shade carpet. So, um, <laughs> so when you walked in, it was basically all dark. It had like a table and benches that turned into a bed. And then it had a one bed down low and then another bed that was like up high. So all that was gutted out. Um, I was able to keep all the appliances um, as they all worked and they were all in really good shape. So nice. that was an extra plus. Nice. Um, but going into it, I didn't know if they worked. So that was a little scary there for a little bit, not knowing that. Um, but so I gutted it all out and did a lot of cleaning. And then I went ahead and kind of redid the inside. Well, let's take a look. Like yeah. Come on in. I'll show you around a little bit. And who is this here? You have to introduce This him. is my dog, Mint. He hey. will be traveling with me. Come here, Mint. Hey, Mint. He is extremely friendly. <laughs> so he's going to be traveling with yes, you? Yes, he'll be living in the camper with me. Um, and, and I have his own little spot for him. And how do you think that's going to go? Um, I think it'll do pretty good. He's used to having a lot of freedom, so it's going to be a little bit of a change for him. But um, he adapts really well. So we've been... He's almost 10, and I've had him his entire life, so... Oh, he'll be good. <laughs> and where you're going, there's a lot of open area to yes. run around. Yeah. All right. So, so the inside. Um, welcome to my trailer. All oh, the light's perfect to good, show everything great. too. Awesome. So where did you start when you you so, said you, you said it looked like a 70s? It did. It was it was kind of bad. So it was super dark. You can see in the bathroom. I did not touch the bathroom really yet. So if you want to look in there and get an idea for oh, what it looked yeah. like, that's pretty much what it was everywhere. Um, the ugly yellow, the I hear, browns. I hear disco music in the background. Yeah, it was a little, yeah. So, um, <laughs> it looked like that pretty much everywhere. Right here, this whole space was taken up by a giant uh, table and benches that came out to about here, actually. So, you had no space. Wow. Um, so, that was the first thing I thought when I walked in here. Is I'm like, that's got to go. <laughs> Which is going to be good for the dogs, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. So, it's so, fine if you have kids and whatnot, but as a, I'm just one person traveling around, um, I would rather have, you know, table space, a place Absolutely. to sit that's not on the bed. That was really important for me as well. Right. Um, and then the bed here. So, there was an upper bed and a lower bed, and all that was gutted out. And then I built this. Um, this whole thing lifts up. So you can get to the storage that's underneath, which under that is the water tank. So the upper will be storage here. And then this space here, my dog's usually in a crate when I'm not around. Right. So if I need him to be in a crate, it's going to be there. And I have a baby gate oh, that'll be up. Perfect. Um, so plenty of room for him there just in case I need to stick him away for any reason. Um, cause he gets kind of excitable sometimes. Yeah, sometimes yeah. Um, but yeah, he's already laying down there and he already like loves it in here. Beautiful. So he's been pretty great. So tell us about this bed. So you built this yourself? Yes. So, um, this is just a piece of plywood that I cut and stained. Um, it's three quarter inch plywood. So it's super thick and durable. On the back side of this, there's actually another piece, um, that's level with the bottom, but it only sits up about three inches and that's where it gets its strength here. So there's actually no supports underneath the bed at all. Nice. Underneath the bed is just simply a another piece of plywood. Um, uh, I, it's not three quarter inch, maybe half inch, half inch yeah. I think is what it is. And that's just uh, screwed to this piece here. Mm -hmm. um, and then that's pretty much it. So it's this, very simple. Yeah. yeah, super simple. This supports it here. This supports it here, and then two one by twos on the sides support it down the sides. So what and kind of cost? It. If someone wanted to buy, put a bed like this in, what do you what do you think? Um, this average ball. This uh, 
plywood, the main sheet was about $30 and that was my biggest expense for it. Right. The rest of them, I mean, two by twos and one by twos, you can pick up pretty cheap, you know, 10, 20 bucks maybe and that. And then this, if you're going to just buy this piece, that might get expensive, but I had scrap laying around. Um, so my suggestion is really, you know, talk to your friends, talk to a family, talk to anybody you know, go on oh, Facebook yeah. and around. see, because you can find so much stuff like sure. on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist or wherever. I see um, stuff all the time. Most people have scrap wood laying around. Just be like, hey, you know, I'm looking for this specific thing. Can I come and like check out and see what you got? So scavenge, scavenge. <laughs> most of this stuff is scavenged. Like all of this wood here was scavenged. Um, the two by twos and the one by ones were basically all that we had to buy. You see she's got a little yeah, lip here good. to keep stuff Lip secure here and that solid grabbing. there. We left this open so that warm air can get underneath where the water tank is. Okay. Um, that way yeah. you can have, I can put a fan there when it gets cold and pump some hot air down there. That way, hopefully, it doesn't freeze right. <laughs> if it's not too yeah. cold. Um, but yeah, almost all the woodwork in here was like used wood. Great. So that stuff Recycled. you can usually find. Um, now, one thing that stands out is this this yes. kitchen. This is my, this. my favorite, and my um, it was definitely an extra thing to do. I right. didn't have to do it, it would have been fine without it, but it really pulled the whole camper together. Um, so the backsplash was expensive. It was $26 for one sheet. This is super lightweight, um, but it's meant to be a black backsplash. So it's meant to be cleaned and stuff like that. Um, so that was a little expensive and I almost didn't get it because of that, but I'm really glad I did. Yeah, it looks super nice. It, yeah, yeah, it was the, the back was the same color that was in the bathroom. That right. yellow. Okay. <laughs> it was really bad. Yeah. And these countertops were bright yellow. So just doing this. This is stick on vinyl countertop. Got off of Amazon, $23 a roll. Um, was kind of challenging to put on, but with two people, it, it wasn't that bad. The hardest part was getting it around the sink. Um, but other than that, it was like pretty easy to put on. It was very forgiving too, cause you could like start to stick it and then, oops, I did it wrong. Let me pull it up a little bit and do it again. So it was a really good investment, I think. I think so too. And yeah. you got to keep the stove worked. You said you're yes. not sure about the, the oven. The itself, oven, which little... looks pretty much brand new in there. Couldn't get the pilot light to start. So I'm still working on figuring that out. But you've got four um, burners up top. Four burners. All four burners work. The pilot light stayed lit. Um, the refrigerator behind you runs off of electricity or gas. Wow. So you have your options here, gas or electric. Runs off of both just fine. Tested that out. Um, the freezer works. So that's yeah. great. Yeah. Uh, so that was good. And then the <clears throat> furnace down here also runs off of propane. Um, and that works as well. So, so as well as the hot water heater. Which so is she, also she paid $1,200. Yeah. And with that, <laughs> she, all, she got yeah. a furnace. She got a very nice refrigerator for propane or electric. She got... A usable faucet sink, yep. four burner cook stove. Regardless of whether the, the oven is fixed easily or not, she got a four burner stove, all for twelve hundred dollars. Yes. <laughs> wow. I know, right? It's <laughs> right? great. Yeah. And then added this. I like this space, so you've got some room to work and do Definitely. whatever you want to do. Yep. And then, well, the bathroom hasn't been nothing's I been. Haven't touched the bathroom. Has been We're touched, actually working but, on getting the flooring in now. So this um, does have a black tank. And a great yep. tank. So even though it's still nice. Yeah, even so without nice. updates, it, it's ready to use. And that's yep. yep, that'll be a nice closet. Some little storage oh closet. You can hang some clothes. There. You're gonna be able to fit all your belongings in oh, there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Between that closet, which is a really good size, and I've got storage totes that are gonna go under there. So I put a yeah. lip on there, I put a one by two board sitting up tall and that will hold the totes in as I drive around so that I'll have four storage totes under there to store clothing and extra bedding and anything else that I need. So plenty of storage room here. And you designed this idea and did, did a lot did. of hands-on yeah. this whole so time. I yeah. pretty much did all that. I did have a lot of help, um, especially with my dad, like giving me advice and stuff because he right. builds and whatnot. So he was really um, instrumental behind building the bed and telling me where to put the supports and, you know, 
know what board would hold what weight and stuff um, but everything else I pretty much did myself all the painting um, all you know the flooring I put in myself that's a vinyl flooring you can pick up like at Menards um, I think it was 97 cents a square foot so I did that on the floor and on this accent wall. It's the same stuff. Um, <laughs> the only difference is, is I used the wrong glue for this wall. I used the same glue as I used for the flooring and that was the wrong thing to do because it's a slow drying glue. And for this, I ended up having to hold the wall up as it was drying. And right. you can even see some mistakes here. <clears throat> um, she, but it's not she can, bad. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know because I was over here like... <laughs> Um, this is incredible. So all yeah. all around cost, if you had to just guess, throw me out a number. Are you above two thousand on the? Um, it's probably close to it. Probably so, a little on the short side of that right now. Okay. Because um, with the tires, the tires put me right. over. Yeah. Had to get um, they tires. were about four hundred dollars, and okay. um, I spent about two hundred dollars on the flooring, the wall, um, and maybe another fifty dollars on the kitchen area yeah which is totally worth it yeah which what it I mean, really was you can't get a kitchen so, like this for 50 dollars anywhere yeah, right um so it and i could have done it for cheaper but i just wanted to make it a little bit nicer <clears throat> um but you know i could have had it ready to go for probably you know 1500 <laughs> awesome. really so if i would have just been ready to like move in and go with it it could have been like a super cheap thing uh, but I just had the extra time. I've been working on it since July, and it's beginning of, what, October right October, now, basically? Yeah. So a couple months working on it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's Incredible. Right now. So if someone wants to follow your adventure, you have a YouTube? I do. Or a, uh, I yeah. have an Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. And then so, give us that Instagram. Um, it is wonderlost underscore the word for life. Um, All right. Just so check me out. We'll put it in the uh, yeah. comment section below, Definitely. a link to yeah, that. I have. And on that Instagram, I do have before pictures and after pictures and also pictures of the whole process. Right. So you can see all the struggles. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> all the joys and struggles of it all. So. You plan on documenting your travels as you I take do. off? I Yeah, yes. awesome. So you guys so can... Gonna... Yep. You just look for the link below and you'll be able follow to click on, on and follow there. her on Instagram. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for this tour. Thank this you. is an absolutely incredible build. And as you can see, um, no one has to worry about high prices or, I mean, she's got way more than most of us had when we started. Uh, she's got more space than most any of us do. And everything is completely up to date and functional for somewhere let's say less than three grand and that includes Definitely. the build and the tires Definitely. she's done the work herself and she has got the american dream as far as i'm concerned congratulations thank you very all much. right guys if you haven't subscribed please do so just click below and if you uh, want to follow the adventures of getting the life get in the van you can and just give you a heads up we're actually going to have another tour coming up of a couple that are living in a four-wheel drive mitsubishi so uh Keep following us and you'll see more tours like this. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you.